Hello friends, welcome to my channel Panthusiastic. In today's video, I will be presenting my thoughts on Pilot Elite 95S. Pilot is a very popular brand in fountain pens and I am fan of Pilot fountain pens. And in today's video, I will be presenting my thoughts on Pilot Elite 95S deep red color. So this is the deep red color of that model. I received this pen in this type of box as you can see. I received it in this type of box. The box is um, usually this type of box uh, Pilot premium fountain pens come in this type of box and in the back side of box uh, details about the fountain pen is given. So as you can see that the MRP that is given for sale in India is 13,000 rupees Indian rupees. Uh, I got it uh, the, at the price approximately near 10,000 rupees. I took it from Pen Point, uh, New Delhi, India. I uh, contacted them telephonically and I ordered the fountain pen. So this is a deep red color and as you can see that the model name is Elite 95S Deep Red. So this is the box in which I received it and once I open this, I will get the box. So this is the box in which you will receive the fountain pen. The pen will be wrapped in this plastic pouch and uh, the pen will be placed here. So there is nothing else like there is no, uh, no uh, cartridge or anything because the pen is pre-installed with converter. So let's see more about the fountain pen. As you can see that this is a very elegant looking pen. It is a very beautiful pen and it is kind of pocket pen because if I compare it with some other pocket fountain pens or average uh, small size fountain pens like uh, as you can see if I compare it with Pilot Kukuno and this is Kiveco Sport and this is Elite and then this is Vector, uh, Parker Vector you can see that the length is even lesser than Pilot Kukuno the length is even lesser than Pilot Kukuno and therefore I would say that it is a small sized fountain pen because Pilot Kukuno uh, is a pocket pen and this this is uh, the length is slightly higher than Keweco Sport but I will call uh, so obviously this is a small sized fountain pen it is a pocket fountain pen and can, can, it can be easily carried in pocket so uh, when I saw this fountain pen at the first instant, um, I was really amazed. The pen looks very beautiful. The pen really looks beautiful. It is available in different uh, uh, colors as well as nib options like we, you can have fine or extra fine or uh, maybe broad nibs. I'm not sure about broad or double broad, but it is available in a uh, fine and uh, extra fine nib. And I think some other color options are also available probably black is available and uh, some other color options may be available I'm not sure but this is the most popular color this is the most popular color therefore uh, I like this pen very much and as you can see that the barrel of this pen is small which is unusual because in fountain pens usually the cap is uh, of smaller length and the barrel is lengthier but here it is opposite the barrel is very small length of it is of very small length and the cap is lengthier so this is different about this pen looks different looks nice and let's have some more details about it so let's uncap it it's push on push off kind of thing so you can just push the cap out and uncap it so as you can see that the cap is very beautiful and uh, the cap is uh, uh, the cap is uh, lengthier and you can see that it has a I think this this is gold plated portion here and also there is gold plating here so this trims and and the clip I'm not sure whether it is gold plated or not but the trims here are gold plated and it, it looks very beautiful so as you can see that this is the uh, the clip of the cap and E symbol is engraved here for Elite. This is the Elite model. So E symbol is engraved here. Looks very beautiful. You can see that the 
design at the bottom of the cap is also very beautiful and pilot japan is also engraved here along with that uh, the the color the, the the color combination is also very beautiful like this is kind of uh, uh, deep red uh, almost like a maroon kind of thing and this is light and this is dark so the co color combination is also uh, really good this uh, cap is actually made up of aluminium so it is strong uh, it is aluminium and uh, the clip is engraved with uh, the brand that is pilot as i told you flat is top the flat of the cap is top so very beautiful and then if i see the barrel if i uncap the barrel is very small in size as you can see and again uh, the nib here is very is, is again a different not of the traditional uh, uh, the traditional shape the nib, nib also looks quite different and it is a 14 karat gold nib it's written here on the nib uh, i'm not sure if you can clearly see this but yeah so if you can see this at the top it's written there that it's 14 karat uh, gold nib and also engraving of pilot and japan and medium all these things are there on the nib nib and the feed of the pen is also is ebonite it has a ebonite feed so overall it looks very beautiful the whole this barrel sec this barrel section and this section it is made up of plastic it is made up of plastic uh, resin it is made up of resin resin is kind of uh, probably pre-processed plastic mm, i'm not very sure but i think resin is a pre-processed plastic so overall uh, i like uh, I, li I, I like this pen mm, very much it is going to buy going to be my favorite as far as its look is concerned and let's uncap the barrel now so barrel is as i told you that it is very small compared to the cap so this is the barrel i have removed it and now it has a converter uh, uh, as far as uh, i know i think we can use cartridges also with this pen and we can use con this is con 40 converter this is con 40 converter con 40 can be used with this it comes it comes with the pen itself and uh, uh, the, i think the ink capacity of con 40 is slightly lesser compared to the other uh, pilot uh, uh, converters so this is con 40 converter i have already filled ink in it so i'll not remove remove it you can simply take it out and you can fill ink and i'm not sure whether this can be directly dipped and ink can be filled or not i'm not sure about that but uh, if if i try in future and if i get that confirmation i will i will post it so this is con 40 converter uh, we can take it out we can fill ink in, in it directly and yeah that's it looks quite good quite beautiful so i'm putting the barrel back so it is a it is a short size for, um, pocket pen i can i uh, uh, so uh, this is a small length so writing without the cap posted at the back may be slightly uncomfortable for larger hands you can put uh, the cap behind you can post the cap behind and now the length becomes almost like a traditional uh, traditional length that is the traditional fountain pen so with cap posted back the length is approximately 14 centimeter which is a very very standard length uh, for fountain pens and without cap posted back the length is approximately 10 centimeter so four centimeter increases uh, when you post the um, the cap uh, um, behind the barrel so if you post the cap then the length is like a, any traditional fountain pen and even large ha hands can be comfortable writing with this so really a good fountain pen overall look and everything is same the country of origin is japan and the cost is approximately uh, as you as you saw that mrp is 13000 but um, during some festivals or during some you know discount days and even pens point from where i have taken this gives good discounts so um, you can get it uh, within approximately say 
between 10,000 to 13,000. So that can be the price range, uh, approximately that. Sometimes it can be even lower, maybe some 9,500 or 9,700. So this is mm, this is about this uh, Pilot Elite Fountain Pen. Now let's see uh, how it writes. I have already filled ink in this. I'm using this notebook, which is uh, Luxur notebook. It is a it is a premium notebook series. It is it, it the, the paper is 70 GSM paper. It is it has a 70 GSM paper, and the ink which I'm using is again from Pilot only. Uh, Pilot Hiroshi Zuku. Uh, Pilot Hiroshi Zuku Suki Yo. So this is the ink which I am using. It is a it is a it is a kind of blue black uh, shade of uh, the ink is of kindly uh, like a blue black shade. And I have already written some notes as you can see about the pen. And now I'll be showing you live that how the pen writes. So this is it is very wet writer. What I found is that. Uh, this is a medium nib but it is like slightly more than medium and close to broad so between medium and broad it is not exactly medium what i felt after writing it is it is between medium and broad so but writing is but it, the nib is very smooth and very wet 95s a very smooth writer very wet writer as you can see it writes very wet one two three four five so it is very wet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so uh, i'm not using fan in the room so for drying it is taking approximately 10 seconds maybe 12 seconds without fan so if i'm using uh, if there is fan, if fan is running on in the room it may take less time so overall i really like this pen the, it, it it writes very smooth looks very elegant and very nice and quite different as you can see i like this pen so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe my channel uh, if you have any comments feedback you, know, you are welcome to write it in the uh, message uh, box and please subscribe and uh, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button so that whenever i upload a new video you can get information about it thank you very much